Have you ever thought about what it would be like if your body started attacking itself? This is the reality for those suffering from pemphigus vulgaris. Imagine for a moment you're in the middle of a battlefield, but this isn't your typical war zone. It's a microscopic one taking place within your own body. It's an unseen battle where your own soldiers, the cells that are supposed to protect you, turn on you. This is the chilling reality for those living with pemphigus vulgaris, a rare autoimmune disease. In this internal war, the body's defense mechanism, the immune system, mistakenly identifies its own cells as the enemy. It's like a twisted game of friendly fire, only there's nothing friendly about it. The immune system releases antibodies that target the proteins in the skin and mucous membranes, causing painful blisters and sores. It's a shocking betrayal. Your own body waging war against itself. Pemphigus vulgaris is more than just a skin condition. It's an insidious disease that transforms the body into a battlefield, where the enemies are not foreign invaders, but the body's own cells. The skin, the largest organ of the body, becomes the front line of this internal war, bearing the brunt of the attack. The result? A life filled with pain, discomfort and uncertainty. Understanding Pemphigus vulgaris means acknowledging the complexity and unpredictability of our own bodies. It's a stark reminder that our bodies, the very vessels that carry us through life, can sometimes become our worst enemies. But it's also a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the ability to endure and persist even in the face of such adversity. This is the world of Pemphigus vulgaris, a world where the unseen battle within the body becomes a part of everyday life. It's a world that may seem frightening, but it's also one filled with courage, hope, and the indomitable will to fight back. Sound scary? Well buckle up because it gets even more shocking. First shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris is caused by our own immune system. Now let's delve into this a bit further. Picture a city inside your body, complete with guards and soldiers, all working diligently to protect you from invaders. That's your immune system. But what happens when these guardians misidentify friendly cells as enemies? They start attacking them, causing what we call an autoimmune disorder. Now imagine these friendly cells are the ones that hold your skin cells together. This misidentification leads to a blistering condition, known as pemphigus vulgaris. The immune system, in its misguided efforts, targets a protein that binds skin cells together, leading to blistering and erosion of skin and mucous membranes. This is indeed a battle, but the enemy is invisible. It's our own immune system. And the battlefield? It's our own body. Yes, you heard it right. Our own body can turn against us in such a shocking way. Second shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris can strike at any age. This blows a hole in the common perception that such conditions are reserved for the later years of life. But Pemphigus vulgaris doesn't adhere to this rule. It's a rogue, an anomaly. It can impact the young, the middle-aged and the elderly alike. Think of it as a storm that doesn't discriminate, sweeping across the plains of our bodies, irregardless of the years we've clocked. Children, teenagers, adults and seniors all can find themselves in its path. Even more surprising is the fact that the onset can be sudden, without warning. One day, you feel perfectly fine, and the next, you're grappling with painful sores and blisters. It's like a bolt from the blue, unexpected and uninvited. It's a chilling reminder that diseases don't play by our rules. They don't respect our timelines. No age is safe from this disease, making it even more alarming. Third shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris is a global disease. That's right, this autoimmune disorder isn't confined to any particular geographical location or demographic. From the bustling cities of America to the serene landscapes of Asia, from the young to the old and across all races and ethnicities, Pemphigus vulgaris can affect anyone, anywhere. This is a disease that doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care about your socioeconomic status or your lifestyle. It's a stealthy invader, silently wreaking havoc on the body's skin and mucous membranes, causing painful blisters and sores. Despite its relative rarity, with an estimated prevalence of 1 to 5 cases per 100,000 people globally, it's a condition that has left its mark on every continent. And because of its non-discriminatory nature, it's a condition that requires global attention and efforts for research, diagnosis and treatment. This disease knows no borders making it a truly global affliction. Fourth shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris is often misdiagnosed. Now let's delve into the reasons why this alarming fact holds true. Pemphigus vulgaris is a rarity in the medical world. Its symptoms often mirror those of other common skin conditions, causing confusion even among seasoned healthcare professionals. This can lead to a dangerous game of medical roulette. 
patients could be treated for eczema, psoriasis, or even a severe allergic reaction, while the real culprit, Pemphigus vulgaris, continues to wreak havoc on the skin and mucous membranes. The consequences? Prolonged suffering, ineffective treatments, and a ticking clock as the disease progresses unchecked. The misdiagnosis of Pemphigus vulgaris not only delays the proper treatment but also exposes patients to unnecessary side effects of wrong treatments. It's a double-edged sword cutting into the physical and emotional well-being of the patient. Remember, knowledge is power. Awareness about this disease can help steer the diagnosis in the right direction. The danger lies not only in the disease but also in its misdiagnosis. Fifth shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris symptoms are often unseen. Yes, you heard it right, this insidious disease can wreak havoc on your body without you even realizing it. One of the most common yet unseen symptoms of Pemphigus vulgaris are internal blisters. Unlike the external blisters that are visible to the naked eye, internal blisters form in the mouth, throat, and even on the surface of the eyes. These blisters are not only painful but can also interfere with your ability to eat, drink, and see clearly. What's more, these hidden symptoms make it incredibly tricky for doctors to diagnose Pemphigus vulgaris. It's not uncommon for patients to go months, even years suffering without a correct diagnosis. This delay in diagnosis allows the disease to progress, often causing unnecessary damage to the body. The unseen symptoms make Pemphigus vulgaris a silent destroyer. It's a constant unseen battle that's fought within the body, hidden from the world. Sixth shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris is a lifelong battle. Imagine if you will a war that never ends, a fight that lasts a lifetime. This is the reality for those diagnosed with Pemphigus vulgaris. Not a brief skirmish or a temporary conflict but a chronic, relentless condition. This autoimmune disorder once it sets its roots stays for the long haul, often requiring continuous medical intervention. It's a ceaseless cycle of symptoms, treatments and remissions. But remember, remission is not a cure, it's a pause, a breather, but the battle is far from over. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And those affected must prepare themselves for the long haul. They say the strongest warriors fight the longest battles. Well, Pemphigus vulgaris patients are indeed the strongest of warriors, facing a battle that demands not just physical strength, but an indomitable spirit. This disease is a lifelong battle with no definitive cure. Seventh shocking fact. Treating Pemphigus vulgaris is a struggle. This isn't a condition where you can just pop a pill and be on your merry way. No, this disease requires a complex and ongoing treatment regimen. It's a bit like trying to tame a wild beast, only this beast is within your own body. The mainstay of treatment is immunosuppressive drugs, which work to quiet the body's overactive immune response. But these drugs have their own side effects and can leave the body vulnerable to other infections. In essence, it's a delicate balancing act between managing the disease and managing the side effects of its treatment. Moreover, the treatment isn't a one-size-fits-all. Each person's journey with Pemphigus vulgaris is unique, and so is their treatment plan. It requires constant monitoring and adjustments, making it a lifelong commitment. The struggle to manage this disease is just as shocking as the disease itself. Eighth shocking fact, Pemphigus vulgaris takes a huge emotional toll. Just as the body struggles with the physical symptoms of this disease, the mind grapples with the emotional and psychological consequences. Living with a chronic, debilitating condition like Pemphigus vulgaris is a daily battle, not just physically, but also emotionally. Imagine waking up each day, unsure of what your body might confront, the constant uncertainty, the fear of the next flare-up, the anxiety over how the disease might progress. All these factors can lead to significant emotional distress. Moreover, the social implications of a visible skin condition can leave one feeling isolated and stigmatized. The emotional pain of feeling different of standing out in a crowd can be just as distressing as the physical discomfort. Patients may also grapple with feelings of loss, loss of control, loss of the life they once knew, loss of their sense of self. The emotional toll of Pemphigus vulgaris is as significant as the physical one. Ninth shocking fact. There is still no definitive cure for Pemphigus vulgaris. Despite the strides we've made in medical science, this elusive adversary continues to confound us. But don't be disheartened just yet. The world of medicine is an ever-evolving landscape. Scientists and researchers around the globe are tirelessly working to get to the root of this condition. They are exploring new frontiers, experimenting with novel treatments and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Every day we inch closer to the breakthrough we desperately need. It's a race against time, a battle of wits against an unseen enemy. 
Each new discovery, every small victory brings us closer to the day when we will finally have a definitive cure. It's this glimmer of hope that lights up the path for those living with Pemphigus vulgaris. The hope for a cure is what keeps those suffering from Pemphigus vulgaris going. Tenth shocking fact awareness can make a difference. Picture this. A world where Pemphigus vulgaris is as recognized as any other common disease. A world where people are aware of this condition, its symptoms, and its impact. This isn't just a dream, it's a possibility. Awareness is more than just knowing, it's understanding, empathizing, and ultimately, acting. When we spread the word about Pemphigus vulgaris, we create a ripple effect. More people become aware, more resources are dedicated to research and better treatment options are explored. Each conversation, each shared post, each donation, they all contribute to this ripple. We can transform the lives of those affected by Pemphigus vulgaris by simply talking about it, by simply caring about it. So, let's start the conversation. Let's learn and educate others. Let's ignite the power of awareness, because awareness is not just knowledge, it's the catalyst for change. Awareness is power, together, we can make a difference in the fight against Pemphigus vulgaris.